Let's go over how to make a slideshow podcast. Most everybody already knows how to put the PowerPoint presentation together, so I'm going to kind of skip that part, and we're going to go to the part where we want to save that PowerPoint presentation as JPEG slides. To do that, we're going to go up, click on Save As. We're going to drop down to Save As Type, and we're going to find where it says JPEG. Here it is. JPEG file interchange format. Click on that. Then we want to navigate to the appropriate menu. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the My Videos folder. And I've already made a folder that says how to make a slideshow podcast, so I'm going to stick it in there. You guys can name it appropriately based on whatever the name of your podcast is going to be. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit Save. Notice that I get a menu that pops up it asks if I want to hit every slide or just the current slide only. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and click yes, every slide. Hit OK to tell us that we're done. And at that point, we have a JPEG image of every slide from our PowerPoint presentation, and we can get PowerPoint out of the way. The next step would be to go into Audacity. We want to record our script for each of those. Probably the easiest way to do that would be to do um, one Audacity file per slide. If you try to talk through the whole thing, there's a good chance you're going to mess up. You have to start over. It'll take longer. But if you go through and you do one, one Audacity file per slide, just one recording per slide, um, each one, then you have less chance where you have to redo. Audacity is set up very basics. Uh, let's go over some of the tools. We have the record button here. The stop button is here. If I need to adjust my microphone, it's over here. And let's go ahead and do a test so we can see what's going on. I hit record. And notice as I'm talking, it's creating the waves. If I want to adjust my microphone because the waves are too large, I can adjust the input on the microphone and get smaller waves. I can also crank it way up and notice that the waves got a little bigger. Now, if I'm looking at it while I'm talking, I notice it's not doing as well. I can start talking louder. And notice as I was talking louder, larger waves. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit the stop button. When I have my audio file completed, a couple things I can do to kind of clean it up. This little bit right here is where I hit stop. It made a little noise. I can highlight that section, hit delete on the keyboard, and get rid of that. The other thing I can do is this section right here, this is where there should be no sound at all. And there's a little little bit of static or ambient room noise going on. I can try to get rid of that. I can go to effect, noise removal, get noise profile. Notice I have that area selected so it's going to get that sampling of noise. At that point I want to go ahead and select all. So I go to Edit, Select, All, and then I'm going to go back, Effects, Noise Removal, and I'm going to adjust the slider down pretty low because if I go too far up, it starts sounding kind of like a robot, real tinny. Uh, so I don't want to go too far. Hit Preview. I hit Record, and notice as I'm talking, it's creating. I listen to that little clip, and it it sounded pretty good. I didn't hear any robotic tinny sounds or anything, so I go ahead and hit remove. Noise. When I get done, notice how it's almost a straight line, or it will be a straight line. Okay, that's that's going to sound nice. Okay, we'll test it again, make sure everything's cool. And if it is, we can go ahead and save it. Now, remember, anytime you're working with audio or video, you want to do a save as every two or three minutes. That way, you don't lose anything. All right, I'm going to go ahead and save this one as slide one and replace my existing slide one. Now keep in mind that Audacity is uh, the saved as an Audacity file, which basically has a link to the actual audio. So if we tried to import this Audacity file into a program to use it as audio, it's not going to work because it's not a real audio file yet. We have to export it as an MP3 in order to make it work for us. So I drop down File, Export as MP3. And I'm going ahead and save it over the top of the one I did before. That's fine. Notice that the ID3 tag comes up. 
the ID3 tag is the thing that shows up on your MP3 players and iPods that tells you the artist, the album, and all that good stuff. So if you want to give it a, a quick title, you can put your name in there. Now you don't have to set any of this stuff up, it's up to you. And you can pick a genre, uh, spoken word or whatever. All right, after we've created all of our Audacity files, we can move over to Windows Movie Maker.